Back to the news that was breaking at the top of this hour, that is Vice President Joe Biden attacking both Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders. Biden saying, and I'm quoting now, I just have a different sense of how we should be talking about the issues that face us. He also says both candidates are downplaying the economic recovery of President Obama. Leslie Marshall is here. Now, Leslie is, I'm going to say, on the left, but not wildly on the left. Is that accurate, Leslie Marshall? <laughs> <laughs> it is accurate. But some people would say I'm wildly on the left, but I agree I'm not wildly. No, you're, you're, you're all right with us. <laughs> now, uh, it really sounds to me like Joe Biden, he wants to run. He's looking at the candidates and he's saying, you know, you're not doing this right. He, he, he seems like he's itching to get in, doesn't it? Well, you know, Vice President Biden is a no malarkey talker. And I do agree with you here, Stu, and I do think there's some of, well, you know, I could support either one of them, but this is how I would do it. Uh, and certainly this is somebody who has looked at not just this time around, but in the past, uh, run at this. But I think that his criticism of both these candidates equally with regard to the president's uh, economic stimulus and how the economy is doing now is unfair when it comes to Hillary. Hillary has actually been criticized, especially as of late. Yep. for praising the president and his accomplishments, especially uh, with regard to the economy. I suspect Mr. Biden is saying this now because we've just got this national poll that shows Hillary losing to Bernie Sanders. And the idea that a, a, a socialist should be the front runner for the Democrats eight months from an election, I think that scares the establishment like Joe Biden. And I think that's why he's coming out now. What say you on that? It could be, but this is one poll, and we do have a couple of polls, NBC USA Today, that still show uh, Secretary Clinton with a double-digit lead. Uh, for full disclosure, everybody knows I'm pro-Hillary. Um, uh, quite frankly, I would be very surprised. I like Senator Sanders. I told him personally on my radio show that I was backing her because I did not think he could win a general election. And, and honestly, if we have a President Trump or a President Cruz, it won't necessarily be Republican voters I blame, but my fellow fellow Democrats uh, that didn't see who could win in a general election for the Dems on the left. Now, Leslie, you're, well, you're with Hillary. You're a Hillary supporter. I want you to listen yes, to am. a brief soundbite from Scott Pelley interviewing Hillary Clinton on the issue of honesty and trustworthiness. Roll tape. Have you always told the truth? I've always tried to. Always. Always. Some people are going to call that wiggle room that you just gave yourself. Well, no, always, I, always tried to. No, I mean, you know, Jimmy tried Carter to. said, I will never lie to you. You know, you're asking me to say, have I ever? I don't believe I ever have. I, I don't believe I ever have. I don't believe I ever will. All right, Leslie, Hillary has a trustworthiness problem. Do you think she improved her standing in that area with that response last night? I don't think she improved, but I don't think that, you know, people are going to say, hey, I'm going to vote for her after that, or I'm backing away. I, I think people with regard to her trustworthiness have already made up their minds, regardless of that question and that answer. And I on honestly think it's an unfair question to ask anybody running left or right, because let's be honest, whether it's we so, snuck that pencil yeah. from school in first grade, yeah. we've all lied. It's I agree unfortunate, with you. but I we I do have. agree with you. How many of us, if we were asked, have you ever told a lie, could possibly say, no, no, moi, certainly not. That's not, I mean, anybody that would be true of. We take your point, Leslie. Thanks for joining us as usual. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Stu.